Hello YouTubers, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace a fluorescent lamp with an LED lighting. Let's get started. Yeah, well, you see what I mean. And this one right here is going to be my replacement part. This is a LED lighting from EVE. Now let's have a look at some general specifications of this lighting. So over here, that's the instruction in English. Here it says 50,000 hours. So let's say if I have my light on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this LED should be able to last about five to six years. Over here it says LED DOB color change. DOB stands for driver onboard. Now driver is a kind of device that functions like a um, switching power supply with the job of stepping down the voltage and rectifying the current. And the LEDs can change colors too. And I think there are three different colors you can change. There's white, there's orange, and light orange, you know, and darker orange. And over here, it says 24 watts. Maybe that's a little bit more clear. Um, that's the um, that's the power consumption, so that means this LED consumes 24 watts of power and here is the luminous efficacy of 90 lumens per watt. So that means this LED is capable of producing 90 lumens of brightness for every single watt it consumes. So that means if you multiply these two numbers together, 90 times 24, you are going to get 2160 lumens and that is the maximum brightness that this LED can produce. Okay, so that's it. Now let's see what is inside this package. And this is what the LED lighting looks like. If you look closely here, there's two wires. The white one is going to be connected to the light wire and the gray one here is going to be connected to the neutral wire. Looks pretty low profile, nothing fancy. If I turn this over, there's um, magnets. There's like four of them. With this magnets, there's no need for drilling and you can install this to the old fixture. So these magnets are very convenient. They're like one of the key features of this LED lighting from Eve. And another nice thing about the LED lighting system is that there will be no need for this bulky ballast and a starter. So, how much power would this light consume if I were to have it on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? So the first thing we have to do is to find out the amount of units that this light would consume in a month. In Thailand, one unit is equal to 1 kilowatt hour and there are 1,000 watts in 1 kilowatt. So we have to divide the LED wattage of 24 with 1,000 and multiply that with the number of hours you have it on in one day and then multiply that with the number of days in a month and the number of units that this light will consume in a month will be 17.28 units. Now for any units beyond the first 400 units of consumption, the rate is 4.4217 baht per unit. So if I have this light on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, I will have to pay about 76.4 baht every month. And that is not a big deal at all. Okay, let's remove the plastic cover. That's the old fluorescent tube you see there. And I have switched off the MCV so there is no current flowing in the brow wire or the live wire right now. Over here we have a ballast and that's the starter. But for the new LED lighting system, we don't need any of them. But I can just keep them there as long as I don't get into my way when I install the LED lighting to the fixture. Well, let's see about that. Okay, so let's disconnect the live and the neutral wires. Okay, now let's remove this connector. Now the fluorescent tubes is ready to be removed.
And here is the old light that I have just taken out. Let's have a look at its specifications. And it says here that this light bulb consumes 32 watts of power, which is 8 watts more than the LED counterpart. But it produces only 2050 lumens of brightness, which is much less than the LED counterparts again, because its luminous efficacy is only 64 lumens per watt, which is probably 40% less efficient than the LED lighting. Okay, now see this here. Um, this bulb is rated at 13,000 hours, so that is lifespan, and that's not even half of the LED lighting. So it looks like LED lighting is clearly the winner here on every aspect. Okay, now let's disconnect these two wires from the ballast. Now the ballast can be removed by untightening these two screws that secure the ballast to the fixture. Okay, now I'm going to remove the three hoops from the fixture. Now let's see if I can fit the new LED lighting to the old fixture. It turns out that the new LED lighting doesn't fit the old fixtures, so we are going to have to remove that as well. If you have to touch the life wire, make sure that there's no current flowing into it. Now let's remove the three screws that secure the old fixture to the ceiling. Okay, um, but on a closer examination, I think if I can remove the starter base and the starter completely from the old fixture, I should be able to fit in the new LED lighting. So let's try that. If you turn um, the old fixtures over, you can see that the uh, starter is connected to the old fixture by these two plastic hooks. So let's take this out. Now that the uh, starter and the base is off, let's bring in the LED and see if we can fit it in. So, here's the LED. Okay, so with the starter and its base removed, the new LED lighting fits in the old fixture just fine. I'm going to prepare um, these two wires before I put these fixtures back onto the ceiling. The white wire here is going to be hooked up to the life wire from your power system. So it's going to this terminal, which is marked by letter L, but you probably don't see it. So let me just move this a little bit. Okay, it's there, letter L here. Now try pulling the wire to make sure that the connection is firm. Now the gray wire is going to this channel, which is going to be hooked up to the neutral wire and you can see the letter ends more clearly here. Now again, try pulling the wire just to make sure that the connection is reliable. Okay, let's reinstall the old fixture and the new LED lighting.
All right, let's turn it on. Okay, let's test all the three colors. The white light, warm light, warmer light. Okay, now let's put the plastic cover back in place. And that's the end of my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.